Hey Ashley, it's Logan Stout at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky. Gonna walk around this 2021 High Country Tahoe. You can see I'm on the bottom lot of our lot here in Mayfield. This is the headquarters of Perkins Motorplex. If you were to go, there's one of our delivery trucks right there uh, with a Tesla on it. <laughs> if, the, if, that, the, if that's not a sign that times are changing, I don't know what is. Uh, so if you were to go down to the end of this dead end street where our truck just went, uh, you'd actually see um, even more service centers than this one right here. Uh, we've got a 20,000 square foot reconditioning facility, uh, all kinds of resources back there, like a tire place, a uh, place we do lifts and wheels and suspension work and stuff like that as well. Um, it's a, uh, the Lord keeps blessing this place. We just keep growing and growing. Uh, so this is the headquarters and this is that Tahoe. Uh, I've walked around it a few times, gonna give you a better look at it now in a video. I'm super pleased. Uh, so it's got Bridgestone tires. These are not new, but man, they're really good. I'm gonna say they're probably at 60 to 70% tread. So several years of driving there before you'd have to do any do anything. Uh, I noticed on this right front here, you've got a little bit of a scrape right through here. Uh, you can see that right on that um, edge of that fender. Front of it looks great. Not a lot of rock packs, bug damage, anything like that. That chrome looks good. You can see a couple little spots that have been touched up right through there, just tiny little rocks. Uh, that's bound to happen on the highway and interstate stuff. But the headlights look great. Fog lights look good. The rims look really good. I've already talked about those tires uh, being Bridgestone. They're gonna hold up uh, as long as they're supposed to, as opposed to, I think some of the uh, lower value tires can, can get eaten up a lot faster, but those Bridgestones hold hold very well. Uh, it's a little dirty right now. We've had obviously uh, dry weather and some uh, dusty conditions and stuff, but really, really nice. I'm not seeing any dings or scratches along the body lines here. Just looking right down the whole side of the car. Uh, some light scratching there on the back left. Very, very light. Back bumper looks good. All the parking sensors straight ahead. down the back right and the passenger side awesome really really good so I always tell people you know none of our vehicles are perfect they're none of them are gonna be just completely flawless because uh, we don't sell new vehicles we sell pre-owned vehicles but some of them are nicer than others and some kind of sell themselves this falls under the category of one that just really sells itself it's extremely nice the sidewalls are great. We see on a lot of SUVs, uh, whether it be luggage or strollers or whatever, coming in and out, um, they uh, really scrape up, scrape up the sides. Um, nothing there. That third row is perfect. Let's go ahead and flip it down now. All kinds of space back here. You can see the captain's chairs. Um, those will fold as well. You double click these and uh, they will fold and actually tumble forward as well. But I want you to be able to see the seats. Keyless entry throughout, of course. And that is such a cool thing with this uh, high country and the newer Chevy stuff. The, the way they pattern this, um, just awesome. Really cool design. Really nice floor mat covering the whole entire back area. Both seats look great your rear heated seats real rear climate control uh, charging ports nice big double roof there so so nice you can see this uh, touch screen here as we work our way to the inside Extremely quiet on the inside. Doesn't smell like smoke or animal or anything like that. Got the Bose sound system. Let's see if I can shut the uh, back hatch here. If I can find the button. I'm not going to be able to do it on the video. Um, everything looks good here. I'm going through. Just looking for any buttons. There's that back hatch shut. Raising it to different levels. Here's your garage door opener. Uh, obviously, you've got the sunscreen and the uh, window itself, the sunroof itself. 
heads up display buttons not sure if you'll catch that on the camera it's probably gonna look like it's flickering it's not flickering uh it is a steady uh image there and you can take that off if you want there's the heads up display info that um display looks great um this is so cool how how good they've gotten at this uh, these are really responsive of course you're going to see your navigation you've got apple carplay um android auto uh there's apple carplay android auto wi-fi these things are so so cool heated and cold seats dual climate control all the bells and whistles you would want in a high country there's your book accessories in there this is as sweet as it gets and it is four-wheel drive of course so let me know what other questions you have the exact mileage on it as it sits right here 28 919 and uh, that means it's going to qualify for one of our factory type total care warranty coverages which is so clutch because it's not just engine and transmission coverage it goes way beyond that it's touch screens backup cameras power windows power locks uh, power seats alternator battery radiator and uh yeah even like the satellite radio or the uh, navigation components are covered um so there's all kinds of technology coverage that goes way beyond just the powertrain and it's nationwide coverage you can take it to any certified mechanic to get the work done it's parts and labor both included there's no deductible this isn't one of those uh shady warranty things you get in the mail this is uh legit coverage i've bought it three times myself and I'm not normally a uh, big warranty guy. So other than the few tiny little like scratches and stuff on it, I am uh, extremely pleased with this Tahoe High Country. Uh, I think it's an awesome one uh, inside and out, top to bottom.